This humble little workshop, relying on only a few highly skilled craftsmen and outdated equipment nearing retirement, has managed to dominate the entire Peshawar motorcycle seat market. The key to their success lies in the price-performance ratio of their products, which far surpasses their competitors. The meticulous selection of raw materials reveals a clue. A second-hand sheet of iron, scavenged from somewhere, is simply hammered and pounded by a minibus, and any uneven surfaces are quickly repaired. Now, let's go to the cutting station indoors. The craftsmen gradually refine the cuts based on the design dimensions. The best way to improve product competitiveness by making the dimensions of the iron plate infinitely close to the standard for motorcycle seat bottoms is to minimize costs throughout the production process while maintaining a reasonable profit. You can see that the seat bottom has virtually no edges after shaping. To make the edges more regular, high frequency milling is still required. Shears quickly remove scrape edges and corners. To facilitate subsequent leather wrapping, the seat cushion production requires a one-to-one -one replica of the original vehicle structure. Prefabricated fixing brackets are first spot welded and unlocked. Now, various equipment can be used to create holes with different functions. With law bus skilled craftsmen working tirelessly, a quality accessory is completed in less than 10 minutes. Given the high local cement exposure, the increase in bows and arrows is definitely not a problem. The bottom is sprayed with a layer of black paint to enhance corrosion resistance. Of course, this only needs to be applied to one side. Then, in the immaculately clean assembly workshop, the sponge seat and outer leather covering are purchased cheaply from a local small workshop. Because these products are low-tech, the main cost comes from labor, so you can get a high quality product without spending too much. Because they make the leather according to the workshop's specifications, the assembly process is relatively easy. The leather is attached to the hook and then tightened, creating a complete product. However, its appearance isn't quite Pakistani yet. It needs some simple accessories and sparkly accents, which is one of the reasons why this product has dominated the market. Simply attaching to strips of Daguliang to the left and right sides creates a stylish, stylish look. Many minibuses love this faux leather during transportation. It's easy to get scratched and damaged, so the boss customized affordable packaging paper to package before shipping it to a nearby motorcycle parts store to start selling it.